Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Starting with our first news, India has achieved a significant milestone with the successful test flight of the Phase 2 Ballistic Missile Defense System. But what is a Ballistic Missile Defense System? The Ballistic Missile Defense System is designed to intercept and neutralize incoming ballistic missiles, enhancing the national security of our country. This experiment is conducted from the integrated test range of the Odisha coast. The test demonstrated India's capability to defend against ballistic missiles of the 5000 km class. The Phase 2 air defense endo-atmospheric missile launch from Chandipur showcased exceptional precision intercepting the target missile at altitudes around 150 km. This achievement bolsters India's defense preparedness with the ballistic missile defense system expected to provide robust protection against potential threats. Moving on to the next news, the Ministry of Defense has been allocated a record of 6 lakh and 21,000 crores in the union budget for the financial year 2024 to 2025. This budget focuses on the modernizing the armed forces and promoting self-reliance in defense manufacturing. This significant increase aimed to promote self-reliance in defense technology and manufacturing equipped the armed forces with modern weapons and platforms. Notably, 1.72 lakh crores is a mark for capital expenditure with a substantial portion allocated for procurement through domestic industries. This budget also focuses on enhancing border infrastructure, operational readiness and research and innovation in defense technology. In our next update, India has developed a new light tank named Zorava, designed specifically for mountain warfare. Zorava is a 25-ton tank optimized for rapid deployment and high mobility in challenging terrains, jointly developed by Larsen and Turbo and DRDO. The tank is equipped with gun launch anti-tank laser-guided missiles. This 25-ton tank is set to undergo rigorous trials and is expected to be inducted into service by 2027. The Zorawa's capabilities will significantly enhance the Indian Army's posture in high-altitude regions, especially along the line of actual control with China. Next, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has begun procuring materials for the light combat helicopter Prachan. Even before finalizing a contract with the Ministry of Defense for 156 units, the light combat helicopter Prachand is a versatile helicopter designed for combat roles, capable of operating in high altitude environments. By starting material procurement early, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited aims to reduce production time following the successful delivery of the initial 15 limited series production of light combat helicopters. This proactive approach ensures timely delivery and strengthens India's aerial defense capabilities. Boeing is pushing for additional sales of CH-47 Chinook helicopters to the Indian Air Force. The CH-47F Chinook is a heavy lift transport helicopter known for its versatility and capability to operate in diverse environments. The American aerospace giant is proposing the latest Block 2 configuration Chinooks which offer increased payload capacity and extended mission radius. The Block 2 upgrade ensures the platform's future relevance with improved maintainability and reliability. Boeing's proposal comes among reports that the Indian Air Force is considering to procuring more CH-47 helicopters to bolster its heavy lift capabilities. Finally, extending the life of AL-31 FP engines used in Indian fighter jets presents both challenges and opportunities. The AL-31 FP engine powers the Sukhoi 30 MKI, providing the aircraft with significant thrust and agility. Issues related to non-conformance during the engine testing and limited of the critical components pose significant hurdles. However, India is making strides in enhancing engine durability and fuel efficiency with plans to indigenize key components and manufacture new batches of AL-31FP engines. These efforts aim to improve performance and extend the service life of these engines, boosting India's defense capabilities. That's all for today's updates. So stay tuned for more updates and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest news in the defense sector. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind.